In a world which is becoming more and more digital every single day with so many devices, screens and ways to do things that don't require you using any paper at all, is it worth still having a paper bullet journal or should we all just go digital? We're going to explore that in this video today. Get ready to journal with me. Okay, so for my digital planner, I'm going to be using an app called Notability on my iPad Pro. I really love this app. I really highly recommend it. It costs about $3.99 and it's got great functionality, which I'll show you today. So to start out, I'm making sure that I have a note which is set to um, the dotted format and I can change the colour of the paper if I want to. I'm just going to go for a sort of off-white colour here. Now what I've done ahead of time is I've drawn this out um, with a little grey liner like I would with a pencil. So I've done the same thing here and just done it out really lightly so you can't really see it here but that's what I am outlining now and this is just going to be the front page of my bullet journal. I always love to do a front page. I don't know why I think it's just for artistic purposes <laughs> rather than functional purposes but I really like it. So I'm just doing a little bit of a font outline here of bullet journal and then I'm also doing 2021. Now one of the functions that Notability has that's amazing is that you can do these automatic shapes. So you can basically draw a shape and as long as you hold down your pen for an extra couple of seconds it will automatically make that shape look perfect and then you can size it up or size it down to however much you want. And I'm going to be using that functionality a lot today so it's good that you know that. The last thing I'm doing here then is just taking the eraser tool and I'm just basically fixing this up um, so that I get rid of that circle that kind of went on top. I probably should have done after but I didn't think of that. I love also that you can really easily change the brush sizes so you can do things a little bit thicker or a little bit thinner and loads of different colours. Okay so moving on to my key, I also absolutely love to do a key in all my bullet journals on paper or digital. And uh, one of the other great functionalities is that you can do straight lines. So same way with your shapes, if you just draw a line and then hold down for a couple of seconds, it does a straight line, which is amazing and, uh, and means you don't need to worry about rulers or anything like that. And voila, this is my key. So it's a very, very simple key. I use checkboxes because I just prefer them. So I do a task, task done, uh, mitigated, scheduled events, cancelled, all the usual stuff for a key. Now I wasn't sure if I was going to do a grid spacing guide in this digital bullet journal because I wasn't sure if you needed it as much but I did decide to do one anyway and actually I'm really glad that I did because it has really really come in handy. Um, first I did the half sizes then I did the thirds and then I did the quarters and um, just a little title of what it is. Now I really struggled with this uh, word spacing so one of the things that happens sometimes when you're doing it on an iPad anyway is if you rest your palm on the iPad you get random shapes or you get random lines drawn and that's one of the things that is more difficult so as you can see this looks pr pretty messy <laughs> okay so now I'm gonna do my month view and um, I'm just slowing this bit down for you just so you can see one of the great things as well is that if you have drawn a shape so if you've drawn a line or a square any shape at all you can duplicate it just by clicking on it it will give you the option to duplicate and that really saves time and you can just easily sort of copy paste copy paste especially if you're doing something like this where it's like a calendar view it's so so helpful to have that that's one of the things I absolutely love all I'm doing then is just writing in the numbers of days in the month you can do this by writing or there is a text function so if you prefer it to look really super neat and super uh font fonty fonty that's not a word if you want it to look a bit neater, you can also use a font rather than using your handwriting itself. Then I'm just writing in the days of the week. I'm going to do a quick title here for April. And I did a couple of little drawings of flowers just because, you know, April, springtime, why not? And that is your month view. So it's pretty simple. I kept it to a sort of easy one page view for uh, the monthly calendar. The only thing with doing it digitally, especially with bullet journaling, is that you can't do a quote unquote spread. So you can do one pages really, really easily. It's harder to do spreads, although you can change the view so that it's sideways rather than down the way.
Okay, I'm also going to do a second monthly page and this is my monthly focus goals. So I do uh, monthly focus goals for YouTube and also for uh, my personal goals here. So this is just a very simple table and I'll just bullet some goals underneath. The next thing I'm doing is I'm going to do a quick little habit tracker. I love a habit tracker and honestly, a habit tracker on the iPad is so much easier to do than on paper and I'll show you how right now. So because you can do these automatic shapes, you can really quickly draw out the calendar. And once you've done that, they have this lasso tool. So you can basically just draw around what you've already done and you can copy paste, copy paste. Basically that duplicates it twice and saves you having to write the whole thing out, which is amazing. I also love this highlighter function because it means that you can make things look really easily stand out and, um, and look really, really beautiful and aesthetic. So that's my habit tracker. Now the last thing we're going to do here is a weekly breakdown and uh, what I'm doing here is I'm doing a couple of boxes for to do and for notes. I also do just a little calendar just to remind myself days of the month and that kind of thing. Um, and then I just do the days down the left hand side and uh, the week across the top and then I basically just add in a couple of little bullets or checkpoints. Um, in the days alongside it. So this is a very, very simple weekly view. There are so many more complex ones I can dive into in future videos if there's anything that you guys wanna see, but this is a very, very basic star guide. So that is it, that's your digital planner, your digital bullet journal. Now, honestly, I still prefer paper. I guess I'm never gonna really go away from that. I just still think there's something about the morning ritual of sitting down with a notebook rather than your iPad because you look at screens all day, or I do anyway with work. So I still think there's something about having paper that is so nice and I definitely don't wanna give that up anytime soon. But I think it's really, really nice to know that, you know, you can move digitally and that's okay also. And if this is your preferred way of doing it, honestly, just go for it because it's pretty easy to get the hang of. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe before you leave for more videos and comment down below if there's anything you wanna see. And I will see you all in the next one.